Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the sensation of breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. You can try long breathing, short breathing, deep, shallow, heavy, light, fast, slow, any combination of those to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Energizing if the, you're feeling tired, calming if you're feeling tense, and you just try to stay with the breath. Other sounds may come in, other thoughts may come into the mind, but you don't have to follow them. Just stay with the breath coming in, going out, because the sounds don't destroy the breath. Your thoughts don't destroy the breath. What you're trying to do is give the mind a good grounding, a home, a place where it can stay and feel at ease, feel that it belongs here. If you don't feel at ease in the present moment, the mind goes building worlds of thoughts out into the future, out into the past. And sometimes those thoughts are useful and sometimes they're not. And all too often they can cause a lot of trouble. You get into something and then it disappears or it begins to crash around you. You need a good place to stay. And by staying with the breath, you provide that. You're also developing some good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing, know what you're doing while you're doing it, and to see the results. And then ardency, to do it well. These are qualities that are good to apply to any job. Here the job is giving the mind a grounding, a place where it feels at home, so that no matter where it goes, it's got its home base. That way when a thought comes up into the mind, you can decide whether you really want to go with it or not. All too often a thought comes and we just jump right in. It's like standing at a bus station or bus stop. The bus comes up, you don't look at the number, which bus this is, or where it's going, you don't look at the driver, you just get on the bus and you end up who knows where. That's because standing at the bus stop is uncomfortable and you want to get away from the bus stop and so you take whatever promises to take you away. But if you're feeling at ease at the bus stop, if it's got a nice shelter, then when the bus comes up you have the time to check. Is this the right bus? Does the driver look reliable? Is it a genuine bus or is it one of those buses that sneak in on the bus lines, like you see in Thailand. You can't really be sure how safe they're going to be. But in this case, you can check, because you're coming from a position of comfort and strength. So try to make the present moment as comfortable as you can by the way you breathe. That way you'll be more in control of which thoughts you follow and which ones you don't. You can be in charge of your thoughts instead of their being in charge of you. One of the Ajahns in Thailand makes a comparison. He says, it's like you have one seat in the house, and you want to make sure that you're sitting in the seat. Anyone else who comes in, they have to obey your orders. But if they push you out of the seat, in other words, a thought comes in and takes over your mind, then you have to obey its orders, and that's not a good position to be in. So try to make sure that you're in charge of your thoughts, deciding which thoughts you want to think, which thoughts you don't want to think, and getting more discerning as to what thoughts are worth thinking. That way, whatever extent your mind plays in shaping your life, it's going to be a good, have, have a good influence. <laughs>